this video we're going to take a look at a really cool piece of gear the uh, BioLite Kettle Charge my name is Brian and you're watching Survival On Purpose hi right, welcome back to Survival On Purpose thanks for joining me so this video again is about the BioLite Kettle Charge and as you can see this is brand new, not been opened yet. Um, the folks at BioLite were kind enough to send me this so I could test it out and check it out and show it to you. And I kind of thought I'd do something a little bit different since I've not used this before and many of you probably haven't. We're going to learn about this together. I could have used it for a few weeks and checked it out, but I think sometimes it's actually good to uh, do the reverse of the use test and say, you know what, we're going to do a first look at this thing and we're going to look at it first together. So I've not even opened this package yet. I've looked it up on the internet a little bit. This thing has really got some pretty cool potential. Um, basically, it is a kettle, a little kettle pot that you boil water in that generates electricity. What's cool about it is it generates a full 10 watt output, so it will charge a USB device as quickly as a wall charger, which I think is really cool. So let me readjust things. We're going to open this together, take a look at it together, and we'll see how it works. All right, so here we are. We got the kettle charged. Now the way this thing works is, is you put it on a heat source and it generates electrical current based upon the differential between temperatures. And you fill it up with water and obviously the differential is going to be the uh, difference between the temperature of the water and the temperature of your flame source. And it's a pretty neat idea. So. Just first, like again, this is the first time I've opened this thing up, so let's take a look at it. It's a uh, stainless steel pot, and take this off here. It's got a minimum and a maximum little sticker on here. If you can see that, I can focus in on that for me. So, minimum here, you gotta have a little bit of water in it, and you don't want too much water because it will boil over. And then the actual electronic device, you can see there's a little cord right here. The electronic device is inside, screwed on the bottom here. That's what generates the electricity. And then it's got a control panel thing here, and it folds up, and it tells you when it's going to charge, and it tells you the level of the charge there. And then it's got a little, little rubber USB cover here. You plug a USB in there, and then this is, is a handle lock. It's supposed to be a handle lock. Let's see how that works. Okay, yeah, so that locks the handle right there. So that locks it in an up position where you can grab it. And then if you want to close it, you push that down for storage. It's got a little vent hole here, and you fill it and pour it out here. So one of the things I think is really cool about this is it, it, it covers a couple of features that you could need in an emergency situation. And this is not just for, for wilderness survival and camping. This is, this is I think, might could has the potential anyway to be a good... You know, I'm keeping your emergency kit and so this would actually give you an opportunity to boil water and you could charge your phones if the power was out in some kind of a hurricane or disaster or whatever so I think it's got potential uh, you're gonna need a heat source in this case we're gonna use our little backpacking stove here my little cheapy uh, under ten dollar backpacking stove and some fuel you could probably use the BioLite stove that's the original BioLite product but honestly it's a wood burning stove and wood, wood fires tend to get everything black, and this thing's brand new shiny. I really didn't want to get it black, so we're going to use this instead. Before we get started, a couple other things. First of all, it comes with a little USB extender, which is uh, heat resistant, so you don't have to worry about burning your regular cords up. You can plug this into here, like so, and then you can extend it out over your, away from your flame source and plug your, your gear into, into here. So that's cool. Um, also, you can pre-charge this thing at home. And you can actually uh, use this as a little mini storage battery. So even if you're not charging, it still will give you enough, enough power in your phones to make a few emergency calls. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and fill this thing up. It holds 750 milliliters, which is a pretty good bit of water, which is pretty heavy. Now this is little stove here is actually pretty small, but we're going to go ahead and turn you up there. Let me get a good and stable perspective. I wish I really should have brought a bigger canister because it's it is kind of kind of small, but it should be okay once it's on there. Get it in there, good and stable. There we go. 
Oh, I spilled it on my pants. So let's just set it on there. Let it go. Okay, so here it is charging. Let me give you a close-up of the little LED bank here and explain what that means. Okay, so the ones on the left side here are the flame strength indicator. And that lets you know if you're getting too hot. And you can see it's at the maximum right now. So very much more in this little flame button. I don't know if you can see this little flame light at the top will light up red and start beeping. That means you need to turn the heat down because it's, it's in danger of being overheated. The ones on this side indicate the charge level. And you can see that we're at three we're at the three output, so we're almost at a full output. So what I'm going to do is my phone is at 72% right now. I'm going to go ahead and plug it in uh, and see how fast this thing charges. Be careful, I don't want to knock it off the stove here. Okay. Okay, it's off right now. We're going to go ahead and plug it in. And you can see it comes on and starts charging. And it was at 71% whenever that was a minute ago. So we'll go ahead and let it charge for a minute. While it's charging, I'll tell you a little bit about this thing. Okay, so this is, once again, the BioLite kettle charge. The weight on this thing empty is two pounds. So it's not an ultralight item, but it is just two pounds. It holds 750 milliliters max. Has a USB power output of 10 watts, which is just a lot. I mean, about seven and a half inches in diameter. Uh, it's about three inches high when it's folded up. It's rated for a 15 minute charge, gives you five hours of talk, five hours of video, 20 hours of audio. Of course, the output's gonna vary by the strength of the heat source. Made out of stainless steel, aluminum, and high temperature plastic. And when you get one, it'll come with a BioLite kettle charge, heat resistant, flexible USB extender, and instructions, which I would encourage you to read because then you won't be fumbling around like I am right now. Okay, so right now my phone is at 74%, so it's picked up 3% in about as many minutes or less. I've, and I turned it down just a little bit because it was, it was maxing out on the, on the heat sensors, but the lights are at three. Say it's putting out seven and a half watts. I mean, we could ballpark that, 10 watts is maximum. Okay, another thing I want to show you, one of, one of the, the great things about the fact that this is a 10 watt output is it will charge tablets. So I've got an, an iPad here, and we'll plug this thing in. And you can see, bam, there she goes. She charges uh, an iPad, which is a pretty big power hungry little beast here. So pretty cool. Okay, well, our water's boiling now. We can make some coffee or hot tea or hot chocolate or whatever we want to make at this point. Or we could have, our, have safe water if we were trying to purify some questionable water. Okay, so I guess we've demonstrated that this thing works. Turn it off. Go ahead and unplug it. and take it off the heat. And one, one thing that's really cool is the handle is cold to touch, so you can pick it up by the handle, and it's locked. And you can pour that bubbling, you can see the water still boiling. It's really, really hot in there. So we're gonna sit her and let her cool off a little bit. And let the stove cool off, because I grabbed a hot one last time I went camping. That was not too smart. Okay, well, that is the BioLite kettle charge from BioLite. And as you can see, this thing, must have a really thick stainless steel plate on bottom that, that really re retains the heat because it is still still boiling away here, bubbling a little bit. And I've taken it off the heat probably for a couple of minutes now. So it's going to be a really good way to get your water purified and charge your pretty much whatever you need charging with a USB. From a, if you'll charge with a USB from a wall charger with 10 watts of power, this thing will do it. So these things retail for about 150 so they're not super, super cheap. But... They really, I think, based on this first use anyway, I'm gonna, and I'm gonna definitely going to be using this thing in the coming, coming months because uh, camp, when I'm camping with the Boy Scouts. But, but anyway, based on just this little test, it charges really well. It's charging my iPhone really quickly, charges the iPad, um, and I'm sure it'll charge any other smartphone or whatever you got. 10 watts of power is 10 watts of power. And so for, for the money, you know, it's, it's going to accomplish a couple of different features. You know, you've got the chargers you go. You can boil your water and purify it. It's even got a little storage battery in here that, you know, even after you finish using it, you can you have a little bit of emergency power for your phone, which is really cool because, if, if, like me, if you're like me, you use your smartphone a lot. you got GPS on it. you got communications on it. you got other, who knows what else you got on the first aid apps and all kinds of stuff. So, anyway, that is the, uh, can you see me now? <laughs> That's the BioLite kettle charge from BioLite. 
Really cool. I'd like to once again thank the folks at BioLite for sending me this so I could show it to you. You'll be seeing more of it. I'm going to check it out over the next coming months again. But whether you need this for the woods, whether you want to keep it in an emergency kit for your home, a lot of in a natural disaster type situation, hurricanes, tornadoes, floods, or whatever, pure water and electricity are both sometimes non-existent. So this could be a really great item to keep in your emergency kit. As always, thanks for watching Survival on Purpose. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for clicking that thumbs up down below if you like this video. Let Google know you like outdoor and preparedness type videos. And if you'd like to support this channel, please check out the Amazon links below. I really appreciate it. It just helps me keep things going. It helps me keep these videos coming to you. So, Once again, my name is Brian. You're watching Survival on Purpose. Remember, survival is not an accident. So be prepared. See you next time.